Hi guys, welcome to Caternix Corner. My name's Terry, and I just want to do a real quick video on the uh, Inkbird ITC uh, 1000. Uh, when I did the video for the incubator, I briefly showed how you go in and adjust the settings, but the only setting that I showed was how you adjust the temperature. Um, but I want to go into some of the other settings because those are just as important and they could actually affect your hatch rate. Okay guys, when we did the, uh, the incubator build video, I showed you how to go into the regulator settings and change the uh, temperature set. Uh, if you press and hold the S button, it will take you into the settings and the first one is TS, which is temperature set. You hit the S again and that will allow you to change your uh, temperature and you want to make sure that that's set at 99 degrees. And then uh, once you've got that to 99, hit the S again. And then for the next value, just hit this up arrow and it'll be DS, which is your difference set value. And uh, by default, I think it's uh, three. You want to make sure that you change that to one. Uh, what that difference set value does is say your uh, temperature is set at 99 degrees. Um, whatever number this is, is how far the regulator will allow the temperature to drop before it turns back on. So you want it set at one, which is the lowest value. I wish they had a, a half, but they don't. Um, set it at one, that way when the temperature drops to 98 degrees in the incubator, uh, the heating elements will turn back on. And the other setting that you wanna change is your PT, which stands for compressor delay. And the values on that by default, I think are three minutes you wanna make sure that that is set to zero. Um, basically what the compressor delay does is say your temperature dropped down to 98 degrees and it was supposed to turn on. Um, this will pause the heating element for com from coming on for so many minutes. Like I say, you had it set at three minutes and this value dropped down to 98, it would wait three minutes before it turned on the element. So you wanna make sure that that value is set at zero because we want the uh, heating element to come on um, as soon as the temperature hits 98 degrees. Okay guys, I hope that gave you a little bit better idea of how the Inkbird uh, controller works and what settings um, you need to have them set at. Uh, to recap on the settings, uh, your temperature set value needs to be at 99 degrees. Your difference set value, or DS is the code, needs to be at 98 degrees. And uh, your compressor delay, which is a PT code, needs to be at zero. With those settings, your incubator will turn on when it gets down to 98 degrees. Once it gets to 99 degrees, the incubator will turn off, but the residual heat from the bulbs will bring it up to about 99.5, 99.7, um, which is right in the range where you wanna be for incubating quail eggs. So guys, I hope this helped out a little bit. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me or uh, leave a question in the comments down below or visit us on the uh, Facebook group page, which is also Caternix Corner. And uh, yeah, there's always people in there willing to help and I try to answer questions on a daily basis. So um, guys, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Helps me out. You'll get notifications of any new and upcoming videos. You guys stay safe from this virus. Uh, I know we're all on uh, lockdown right now, but... Uh, we can get through this. So everyone have a great night and we'll see you on the next one.